Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you my tanning routine. Few of you have asked me recently what tan that I've been wearing and it currently is the Bondi Sands Australian Tan and this is in dark. I personally think that this gives a really natural look whereas if I want a really really dark look then I would probably go for the Loving Tan. I used to really dry my skin out but I'm not sure if they've changed their formula recently because the last bottle that I had didn't seem to do that at all. So before I get down to actually showing you how I tan, I'm just going to explain what I do beforehand. So when I'm in the shower I use the Nivea body wash. I also use this to shave because it's really moisturising and I'm now shaving the same day that I'm going to tan. So I will shave using this and then in the shower then I moisturise my whole body making sure that I'm concentrating on my legs as well using the Nivea coconut, what is this, the in shower body moisturiser and you basically just slap this all over your skin, wait just a few seconds and then just rinse the top layer off. So I'm using the body wash on a scrubby and I just lather this up and wash my whole body with this. If I've got some stubborn tan areas, which I very rarely do get, but I would use a dry body brush, but I actually don't use it dry, I just use it in the shower and I will just scrub at those areas. Normally I don't feel like I need a full on body scrub, purely because that seems to exfoliate my skin enough. For my face then, I'm currently using the Lizzo Cleanse and Polish. I'm using this with a sort of cheap Clarisonic that I've got at the moment. It's just sort of a round brush that rotates and I do a double cleanse with that before toning with the simple toner and then moisturising using this. Now this is something that I bought ages and ages ago and totally forgot about but this is the Embryo Lease Late Cream Concentrate. I think I saw this on like a blog on Vogue or something like that which apparently all the models were using and I was like oh I'll get that. I think it was quite reasonably priced. So on to my actual tanning process then. The first thing that I do is I I grab a body moisturiser, I just make sure that this is more of a water based moisturiser. I massage this into any areas that seem to be really dry or any areas that tan normally clings to on my body. So I start off with my ankles and I move around to the back of my foot as well and then anything that's left in my hand I rub over the whole of my foot. I then move up to my knees and I also move that onto the back of my knees as well. Then moving up my body the tan seems to cling to the areas just on the outside of my armpits so I like to moisturise here and then move on to my elbows the inner parts of my elbows and anything that's left I rub down the inside of my arm just so I get that gradient effect that looks more natural so it goes from darker on the outside of my arm to paler on the inside. And finally I rub more moisturiser on the backs of my hands and on the inside of my hands. So onto the actual tanning then, I do use two mitts, I just find that sometimes the tan seems to go through one mitt so I just put two inside each other. You can get them now for about 99 pence from any sort of cheap store. Then I start with this. So with this tan, you can actually just pop it on and then wash it off after one hour. But if you do want that dark color, it says to leave it on for six and then wash it off. I do find that this takes about five, 10 minutes to dry, whereas the Loving Tan that I used to use does dry instantly. And then something that it says on here that I've actually never done myself, it says after 30 minutes of you applying your first layer, if you apply a second day you'll get the deepest layer of tan so I would really be interested to try and do this but what I have done is I have reapplied tan the next day if I wanted to go darker again so for you to really see the results I've made sure I scrubbed all of my tan up before applying my first layer so you can see the truth of what one layer really looks like. I normally pump one pump first of all, possibly two onto the mitt and then I start with my feet. So first of all I rub the tan all over my feet, I try and make sure that I don't put too much on top of those dry areas like my ankles. My ankles are the parts that really tend to cling with the tan. I always find it easiest for me to start with my feet because then as I'm working my way up I can do my back and then move on to my front. I find if I do my front first and then move on to my back, then I've got tan sort of all over my arms. When I get to my legs, I find from experience that if I've moved the tan up my leg, that all of the tan goes into my pores, even though I have moisturised them in the shower. So I find that if I brush down along my leg, then my pores don't seem to sort of cling on to as much tan and the tan looks more natural. As I move up my body then, I just do circular motions across the rest of my body. I tend to do the middle and top of my back before I do the lower, just to stop that tan going all over my arms. With my face then, I like to put a small amount on the mitt and just dot in the three areas of my head 
before I smooth that towards the outer part of my face and then any remaining red residue then I just sort of tap onto the rest of my face. You can see that it does really cling onto the centre part of my face, in particular my nose, lips and chin and this is because my pores are so big here that this is just what happens but the next day is always fine because it always scrubs off. I continue with my arms then and then when I get to my hands I just use a sort of tapping motion to go over the back of them and along the fingers and when I finish applying all of the tan that I want to I go back in with my moisturiser. If I feel that my feet need a little bit more moisturisation I will go over the top of these and I will do exactly the same for my hands so I'll apply a small amount to my hands and do the insides down in my wrists the sides of my hands and my wrist bone and I'll also rub that then across my fingers and knuckles just to make sure that the tan isn't sitting in the little lines there I normally sleep in my tan then and then the following morning I will get in and do exactly the same routine that I've done in the shower apart from shaving maintaining my tan I think moisturization is the key and also exfoliation if I scrub every day in the shower it tends to come off more evenly the more I moisturize the longer that my tan and last and I have found that out from experience from being really really lazy with moisturising and wondering why my tan's come off in like two days. So this is my skin with one layer of tan. I'm really hoping you can see some sort of colour because these lights are so bright for me to sort of get anything on the camera at all. But this is just one layer and I would probably do another one this evening if I was going anywhere special tomorrow. But this sort of looks a sort of really natural colour that I feel at the moment. I've heard of some people as well buffing the tan into their hands and feet using a brush. If you think that works best, then can you let me know, because I think I would like to try it. I'm a little bit worried about how it will turn out, but if you think that it's definitely worth me trying, then please let me know. If you've got any more tanning tips for me or for everybody else, then please let us know below. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I hope this was helpful. I will speak to you all soon.